Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, The Mighty Bjorn. Now please forgive me, I do have a bit of a throat issue and that's actually why this video is actually slow coming. I've been actually dealing with laryngitis actually for the past week and a half or so. But I feel that my voice is finally good enough that I can get a recording out here and talk about the latest Bradley update from Gunner Heat PC. Yes, folks, the Bradley's been introduced, as well as there's been some other teeny little updates that I didn't really cover, such as the random mission generator, which is nice. It gives a little bit more longevity to the Patreon build of Gunner Heat PC. But right now, we're just going to take some time, do a little bit of a driving test so you can see how the Bradley drives around and how the engine sounds. Now, the cool thing is the tow launcher there, as you can see, was starting to deploy. Basically, once you reduce down to a certain speed, the tow missile system will automatically deploy on the Bradley. Now, realistically, that is not the case, but for Gunner Heat PC, that is how it's coded. And then once you reach a certain speed while driving, it will automatically fold back up alongside the turret. See, the tow missile system can actually be damaged if you're driving with it actually deployed. And that's something you actually have to do yourself. So almost wrapping up here, the driving portion here. Now let's check out the Bradley on the firing range. Now what you have here is you have a nice digital, digitalized optic. And essentially what you have at the bottom is the ammo indicator, which is the AP, because I am right now firing AP DST, which is uh, discarding Sabo Tracer round. It's a uh, armor piercing round. Now, the number that you see going up, that is actually the range indicator. That is adjusted with the page up, page down button. And essentially what you're going to do is, is you're going to fire in short burst or one shot at a time. And then once you actually have your target locked in, you're just going to start letting loose. Now, that being said, the armor piercing rounds I have found not to be really effective against the tanks, particularly the T-55. There might be some areas where it will be effective against the T-55, but honestly, just use the tow missile. Uh, the high explosive ammunition, there's also high explosive ammunition for the 25 millimeter Bushmaster cannon and the high explosive ammunition has been it well it's quite effective against uh, light skinned vehicles uh, mostly the trucks and the Ural okay firing a tow missile here as you can see the gun sight changed when I switched to the tow missile system and you will get two tow missile shots per shot now the downfall of the tow missile is, is while it is a wire guided missile so you can adjust your aim and trajectory of the missile. The one problem is, is you're gonna have to sit there and wait for the missile to deliver. Now, right now I am showing a little bit of the thermal optic, the Terminator vision, if you will, or at least it reminds me of Terminator vision. And uh, just showing you the different types of targets, the ranging, and essentially when it comes to the 25 millimeter Bushmaster cannon, this is the optic you're going to have, and then you'll have the tow optic. Now, one downfall with this is it does not have a laser rangefinder on like the M1 Abrams and the M60. So you're going to have to range things yourself. It does actually have a rangefinder there within the optic itself. I'm not 100% sure at this time how to use the range optic because, well, I'm not trained on the Bradley, and I really haven't gotten a whole lot of time to do full experimentation on the Bradley because well my life schedule has been actually rather busy recently between work the range family life and everything else I have going on I I actually have a pretty packed schedule most of the time I'm gonna just cruise around here a little bit more and the tow missiles are actually rather good. It's also got a 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun shooting 7.62 NATO ammunition or 7.62 by 51. And I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, the coaxial is actually an M240. I'm not 100% sure of that. And I'm just kind of guessing the range here, which is pretty much point blank. I'm trying to see if I could actually shoot the out of the M113 to see if I can penetrate the 
gun sheet and things of that nature. Now, it doesn't seem like the Angry Wally has an impact model yet. It's kind of one of those things I forgot that the Angry Wally didn't have an doesn't have an impact model. And just showing you once again how the tow missile system folds and unfolds. Okay, now I'm going to take a moment here, get a good look at the model. Not a whole lot to the model. Looks like a very base Bradley, you know, model. Now they do have the rifle ports modeled in. That's pretty cool. Uh, the rifle ports, though, right now aren't usable, but they are there. Uh, I'm sure if there's a scenario that comes up where you'll actually be moving around infantry, those firing ports will be useful. As you can see, you can actually see the tow missiles actually loaded in the launcher. And, of course, you have the, the TC optics and the gunnery optics and all kinds of stuff like that. And now, that being said, this is a very thin-skinned vehicle. This will not take much abuse. It will stop 50 cal. It will stop um, 14 millimeter. Uh, I think certain areas might stop the 23 millimeter auto cannons that the Soviets used at the time, but don't quote me on that. And also, that being said, I would not consider that also reliable, even if it does. And it's got good gun depression as well, you know, because Merca. All right, now I'm going to take this out to a mission, show you, show you one of the missions that features the Bradley that's in the Patreon build currently. And we're just scanning around for targets. It is, the, the Terminator vision here is a thermal optic. As you can see, look how red that is. Wow, that sticks out a sore thumb. And I just let loose with the auto cannon on it. Now, essentially, what I did there is instead of adjusting my range, I just watched where the tracers were going, and I was able to adjust it from there just by using the optic. Okay, I'm going to slowly move forward. I'm actually looking for additional vehicles here. So, like I said, the Bradley, the Bradley is a thin-skinned vehicle. It is, it is not one of those vehicles that's going to take a whole lot of abuse. There we go. Give it a tow missile for its trouble. That pretty well should have knocked it out. So there we go. Score one enemy BMP. Now I'm just going to wait for the tow missile to reload before I move forward. Now to reload your auto cannon belts, what you're going to do is uh, you're you're going to um, you're going to use the toggle restock to reload the belts. To switch between the different armaments, you're going to use the 1-2 key or you're going to use the F key. I, actually, I think it might be just the F key. You can switch between the... Well, no, the F key, I think, is the auto cannon and machine gun, and then 2 is the tow missile. Oh my god, I forgot already. I'm sorry, I'm old and shit. But the F key is now actually used on the keyboard for gunner heat pc and particularly it's for the bradley and that's so you can switch between the armor piercing the high explosive and the coaxial i'm going to just drive around here a little bit more scanning for more targets i mean once again this thing's got a great advantage over the soviet vehicles because it's got the thermal optics so it can be used day or night time. Makes it very handy to use. And as you can see, I think oh, I did see something. There we go. So, yeah, I'm able to see that. He probably does not even know I'm here or even that I exist yet. But he's about to find out. And there we go. Now he knows I exist. Although now he doesn't exist. So, yeah, that worked out pretty well for me. Next, for the April Fools, there's two April Fools mission currently in Gunner EPC. From what I understand, they will be taken out. One features the T-34-85, where you have to go through a course and destroy armored vehicles and not get destroyed yourself, which is pretty hard. And then for the, the UAS, 
you have a rally car racing type deal here and wow i am horrible at driving with this vehicle let alone honestly i am horrible at driving in video games with a keyboard and mouse that's one one of my major weak spots and that's usually because when it comes to games like gta where i'm going to do a lot of driving i rely on a controller not keyboard and mouse uh so yeah yeah that didn't turn out well for me but i figured i'd show you a little bit of one of the april fool's missions that's currently a gunner heat pc so anyway folks that's going to wrap it up this is a short video I wanted to get this out and kind of bit of a struggle as you can hear my voice has gotten a quite a bit more raspy as the uh, video recorded but anyway hopefully you all enjoyed the video thank you very much for tuning in and folks please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and share the video that kind of stuff does help me out as a youtuber anyway folks thank you once again for tuning in and have yourself a wonderful day